Hello, Barmy Badger Army. Hey, Badger Army. If you haven't seen our King's Vegetable Jerky video, please do watch that. That would have been on the other day. So I hope everyone's okay. Please do check the uh, previous video out with me and Nick. And welcome to today's On The Bench. How we doing? Hope everyone's okay. Yeah, we're back on the bench after a somewhat lengthy absence. Apologies about that. We've got we're... so much to catch up with. So much to catch up with. It's been a very interesting long weekend, hasn't it, Mr. Nick? So we've had, obviously, May the 4th be with you, Revenge of the 5th, we've had... Revenge of the 6th. Revenge of the 6th. We've had a baby, royal baby, not our baby, that would be very weird. We've had, of course, the sad death of Mr. Chewbacca, which is very upsetting, and loads of other stuff we want to talk about, including Sonic the Hedgehog, the film with Jim Carrey and some really bad CGI. So what should we talk about first off, Nick? Oh, I don't know. We didn't get this far, did we? No, we, we didn't just really like, plan We were it. just like, we just do, they were like, this is all the stuff that we need to talk about, and then, and then the camera started. Because let's, we're always running tight for time when we do these. That's right, always running tight for time. So let's talk about Sonic the Hedgehog. That would make sense because that's the earlier one. So yes, they've, re they've released a trailer for the new Sonic the Hedgehog film. Which was... My goodness, what's happened to Sonic? What's happened to Sonic and what happened to Robotnik? He lost about 20 pounds. Good old Robotnik. Over the years he managed to lose a load of weight. Bless him. So it's just one of these things, Mr. Eggman has lost a ton of weight, Jim Carrey's taken over the role, and Sonic looks like a furry in a costume. No offence to furries, love you, really big basis of the show, love you all, but you get the joke. Now, it's one of these things where it's terrible. Looks like he's aged. Sonic looks like he has aged. He's aged, he's a moody teenager. So, oh god, he's older than a teenager about 60 odd so it's a bit bizarre when you think about how he looks they changed his complete facial expression they changed most of his body they changed the trainers he wore they changed the gloves they changed literally everything it was just too furry it was like one of those cgi cartoon dogs you know it was and you know i mean that's fine for a dog to look like that but this is sonic who's meant to go flying at great speed and that's right yeah and i think you know what put people off the most it wasn't the fact that the hair was slightly wrong because obviously it's an up-to-date film they're gonna add hair they're gonna add detail in it was the eyes i think yes. people didn't like the fact that the yeah. eyes were screwed over people didn't like the fact that the eyes went funny um i think that you know sonic the hedgehog naturally has massive eyes the small pupils and all that sort of thing and the big smile, even though with the small mouth. Mm. So I think people really didn't like the fact that it was completely off base. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Nick? Um, totally agree. It was. Um, it's. It just. You know. It just doesn't look like the Sonic that that people remember because these because these kinds of films they're aimed as much at the people who remember Sonic first time. That's around, right. As the as, new audience, you know, as, yeah. as youngsters of today. That's so, right. So and you know, and people are just gonna and people are just gonna look at that and be like, what the hell? I but mean, then, yeah. it's it was always gonna be hard to top the Super Mario Brothers films in terms of what the hell. But they managed but it. But they're all they're almost there. They mm. almost managed it. And the thing is back in the eighties and all that sort of thing, you know, it was a blessing to get a video games uh, related film. So people sort of enjoyed it regardless. Now, if people don't get what they want and it's completely off base, they complain and they get it sorted out. Can you imagine? And now there are mass internet campaigns go going on about it. Can you imagine if back in the day people had complained about the Mario film, they reshot it? It might have actually been a good film. Sorry, I've just uh, maybe triggered a few people there. To be honest with to be honest with you, I think even even Bob Hoskins disowned it later on. Probably, so. probably. Yeah, he did. He actually said, you know, don't ask me about Super Mario Brothers. It should have been so good. Yeah. But anyway, we're going off tangent. So, what are your thoughts about the fact that people are uh, really pleased with the fact that Jim Carrey? Everyone's like got photos of Jim Carrey holding the film up. Memes constantly about Jim Carrey following and carrying the film. What are your thoughts on that? And wow. channeling 90s Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. I think Jim it's going to be fantastic. I think it's going to be great. Yeah. So we'll see. Hopefully they change it. And uh, it's they've brilliant. Already, they've already announced that they will. Yeah, and it's brilliant the fact that they're literally adhering to the fans and wanting things changed. And like we were saying before, they had no reason to change the look of Sonic. They don't need to appeal to a modern audience and make it fresh because everyone knows what Sonic the Hedgehog looks like. 
everyone. It's one of these things where it's like everyone knows what Super Mario looks like. It's iconic. They don't need to tinker about with the design. It's been filtered down through the ages and the generations. The young kids are even annoyed with it. When my son watched it, he was like, that's not Sonic. Where's Sonic? That He's acting like Sonic, but it's not Sonic, is it, Daddy? So, you know, it just goes to show that they need to appeal to everyone and make it a uniform desi design. I'm glad they are. So moving on to the next topic, Nick, your favourite, the Royals. My mum's favourite. Nick's favourite. Um, so yeah, the, Roy the Royals, well, the, the basically the news headlines today when we're filming this, woman has baby. <laughs> it's a boy. It's a boy. Yeah, they should they should get some tips from you and the boss about that. Perhaps you they should. You had one of those. A boy, yes. And now and now you've got <clears throat> like five full years of him. I know, yeah. So it's like, come on now, guys, come on now. Be a bit more interesting. More reporting needed. The, the worst thing is, I actually heard um, an American on the radio this morning who was like, "Yeah, I can't wait to see what the new baby looks like." Looks he like look like a baby. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure the baby looks like a completely convincing baby. Unless it's an alien. But I'm sure it's not. Hashtag pyramids. Hashtag Illuminati. Hashtag conspiracy. I'm hashtag, sure... Hashtag, hashtags don't work in a video. They do now. So make sure you guys let us know what babies look like, apparently, because, yeah, it's a baby boy, and I'm sure it's really cute, like all the rest of the baby boys out there. Until it starts crying. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. But they might not even need to look after it that much, because, you know, it's the royal family. Just every so often, look. yeah, every so often, just a bit of silence is just going to do the trick there. Maybe. So I'm sure they'll so, look after the baby well and everything so yes. will be fine. And every major newspaper in the UK is going to run this long part, is going to run pages and pages and pages about how Diana would be proud and... Waffle and, that's not needed that, if anything, actually makes yeah. the situation into a big media buzz that doesn't need to happen. So that's one of the things. I'm really pleased for them, though. I yes. really hope... Yes. And I know they're going to be good parents, and I know they're going to get lots of support and help. And joking aside, you know, that baby is going to have a fantastic childhood and a really good life. So good on that baby. Indeed. They haven't announced the name for it yet. I think they're still taking bets on it. Sunshine the Wibble Strawberry Cupcake the Third. Harry and Meghan, if you're watching, we've just sorted it for you. There you go. But yeah, what else did we want to talk about today, Nick? Well, we, we mentioned we talked a bit about. Um, of course, we've had so 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 we've covered so we've, got, we've covered Star Wars. We've covered Sonic. We haven't covered, covered Star Wars yet. Actually. We haven't covered Star. Wars. Yeah, because um, of course we had May the Fourth be with you. That's Revenge right. Of the Fifth, Revenge of the Sixth. That's right. Um, Poor old Chewbacca died as well during yes, the weekend. Yes, indeed. As well. Really yes, upsetting. Indeed. Have we talked about the star the trailer for the new Star Wars film yet? No, we have not. Have you seen that, Nick? I. I have, yeah. Someone laughs in it when, and everyone's wondering who that character is because That's it's right. off screen. So okay, it's going to be interesting. So yeah, is it Jar Jar Binks? Um, that's not the person a lot of them were suggesting. No? Um, yeah, I can't remember the name of the character. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I know Lando Cl Clarician's going to be in it, isn't he, yeah. Lando? So, that, so, yeah, but it's called The Rise of Skywalker and... Yeah, it's coming out in December, which Very everyone interesting. is getting which excited about. Which is the problem with it. I think that uh, that was the main problem with Solo, was it wasn't released at Christmas. That's why it was a domestic failure slash bomb, because it wasn't think, released at Christmas. I think the other thing was that it was in a complete, that was that it was a completely different league to the rest of That's right, them, yeah. Know, it was, it was very, more was action it a, comedy, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, was it a prequel or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's very much a yeah, prequel. Yeah, so it's, so <clears> that's, I think that was the... I think that was the issue that a lot of people with that. It just kind of didn't. It just. It wasn't. It wasn't really sort of like a sort of like big blockbuster in the same way that yeah, the other. Yeah, but they were. could have been. Now another thing that we didn't actually mention that I do want to talk about was, of course, the Game of Thrones coffee cup incident. I don't know if oh, you've heard Matt, about I saw this. that. Oh my goodness. So this was always amusing with Game Classic. of Thrones. And I wonder, now, this is the thing, me and the boss have seen lots of other films, like I think it's Marie Antoinette, and uh, there was this thing 
where they put Converse in the film on purpose. Sofia Coppola actually made the character wear Converse as a bit of a, a bit of a nod to the fact that you know it's fiction, it's a bit of fun. Part of me thinks, did they put the coffee cup there on purpose? I watched that episode of Game of Thrones and I was looking out for the coffee cup and I couldn't see it. They, they would have had to inform a lot of people about it because the thing is, it, <coughs> because the thing is it will be filmed by one group of people, yes. then edited by another group of people. That's right, yes. And then I think there's, and then, you know, it goes to someone else as well, you know. So it would take a lot of communication for that, for that to consciously happen. My, rec my reckoning is... It yeah. could have been left there by mistake, yes. but they chose to, to keep it. it in as a bit of a thing. You know, yes, and exactly. And also because people obsess about every little thing about Game, Game of Thrones. Exactly. Fair enough, not so good no on you. For that. No judgment. But, I'm the yeah, same as well. Maybe, and of uh, course, don't forget to watch the Belfast video. Yes, indeed. All lots of lovely Game Game of Thrones locations in there. Exactly. Um, yeah. So, the, so <clears> probably a lot more. So there probably is a fair amount of, uh, of that, I think. Mm. One thing that, of course, uh, Synth John did, of course, ask us to talk about was 25 years of Blur's Park Life, I believe. 25 years of Blur's Park Life. Um, I still remember, I remember my older sister got that album. Mm. Um, I mean, I mean, this was this was kind of like just before Britpop became what it is now. Exactly, you can't be uh, a bit of Britpop. Indeed, and I think it was, and it was a really interesting time because mm. that was around because it came out around the time that uh, Oasis's first single came That's out. Right, yeah. Around the time that Pulp first started That's really right, taking yeah. off. Jarvis you know, Cocker. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Pulp had been around for about fifteen years before then. Exactly. But, um, yeah. but um, I think it's 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 worth looking back at. I mean, there's actually a feature. Um, which I spotted in spotted online about how the year 1994 was such a big year for music. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, because also there was a, I mean, there was all sorts of genres of music. You know, there was, um, I think the the Prodigy released music for the Jilted Generation that That's year. That's right. Corn's uh, first album mm -hmm. came out, which was nothing like anyone had heard before. That's I it. Obviously, even, like metal, Metallica yep. were on point with yep. their all that sort of stuff. Uh, Green Day released Dookie. Um, That's it. I think uh, Marilyn Manson's first album came out. Exactly. But yeah, there was just so much going on and I think Park Life which came out quite early on in the year was uh, was really at the forefront of that and it's probably the closest that, yeah. uh, that Blur have had to having like a true classic album mm. you know like a true think... definitely maybe or what's the story um, and yeah you know there was do you, uh, yeah. do you think it helped define a generation of 1990s children and I adults think, I think no one album did that there's it's a whole you know it's you know the, the thing with Britpop is it was a whole number of bands you so know Cornea Blur, Copia Blur and uh, you know you had Blur and Oasis there was Pulp there was there was just so so many you know good guitar bands and that was when I first really got into guitar music mm. you know I I I I kind of grew up with uh, I grew up with lots of pop music going around in the house when I was when I was growing mm. up. So you See, know, I had this, lots of classic music like quite, Dean Martin. Yeah, well, my, well, I mean, my dad was into that into that as well. But I think my, my younger my younger self. I mean, when I was a kid, I was quite I was quite dismissive of a lot of older music. Mm. I was very much about the here and now. Oh, but, okay, yeah. Um, but you know, so it's only really it was only really kind of like in later years that I started to appreciate. Um, older music a lot. Mm, okay, that's interesting so, then. But yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, Park Life. Um, it's you know, I I would have been twelve when that came out. I think you would. Uh, would I have been twelve? No. Yeah, I would have been. What year yeah. was it? Nineteen ninety four. I'd have been fourteen. So, yeah. so, so been very before, interesting. Yeah, so age, actually, yeah. I think you would have been thirteen. Oh, 13, um, okay, so, that's very interesting, yeah. yeah. So, and Blur released an <coughs> album called 13. They uh, did, they did. And, and whereas I actually really, it took me a while to get into it, you know. I was literally, it took me a while. It was more like 1920 before I got into Blur and Oasis, really. It took me a while, but I really did like them once I realised what it was and all that sort of thing, you know. Because I think, as a child, you know, you listen to a lot of your stuff that your parents listened to. So it took me a while. Once I got out of that and found my own way, I was very much into rock, Britpop, metal, all that sort of thing, clubbing tunes, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I, I do think, like you're right, like a lot of that time was a really good year for music. So big shout out to them. 
and uh, it's yeah. great that, of course, Damon Album manages to carry on now with Gorillaz and all that sort of yeah. thing. And Blur carrying Blur, on. Blur is still kicking around. I think they disappeared for a few years, and uh, that's right. But they came back with a new album a few years back. Mm. You know, I and think, of course uh, you got what's his face with uh, High Flame Birds and all that sort of thing. No Gal has High no, Flame Birds. Yes, yep. and all that, which goes from strength to strength. People love that album, don't they? Anyway. Now it is time for us to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this chat. And please do comment below anything you would like to talk about with us in the bench, or on the bench as it were. And Nick, quick question here. What's today's soundtrack of the day? I know we like did this the other week. So what's your song of the day? My soundtrack, my soundtrack of the day. I would I I recommend that everyone goes and checks out a I've been listening to lots of chill hop recently. Okay. Lots of like really really good chilled out beats and stuff like that. Ooh. And I and um, there's a and go check out Gyvus G Y V U S. Um, there's a there's an EP of theirs called the Florit EP, which act which is a which features a track called This Time, mm. which is really random because it samples um, the because it samples the the guy from Cha Cha Slide. Okay. And it's used in a really nice chill pop way, and it's just kind of like a way that you would never expect that uh, sample from the Cha Cha Slide. The This Time We're Gonna Get Funky line in a chill hop song. Excellent. It's really, it's really, really nice, and it's a really good, nice song to listen to. Okay, thanks for that suggestion. That is a really good alternative selection. Mm. Bye for now, guys. See you next time. Don't forget Bye to for watch now. the jerky video, and we'll see you later. Yes. Bye.